Here's three things that you should know about before building a water-cooled PC. First is the coolant used to dissipate the heat actually has to be replaced slash refilled every six months to every two years. This is because ethylene glycol used to dissipate the heat actually evaporates and becomes less efficient over time. This coolant used to be solid white and now it's transparent after just a year. Let's fix that. Second is your PC will still need airflow. Even though you have liquid cooling all of your components, you still need sufficient airflow to your radiators to dissipate the heat. Both of my water-cooled PCs have six fans in them. Third is the order of how you designed your coolant path and its configuration does not matter. This example shows the pump going into the radiator, then going into the CPU, then going into another radiator, then the GPU, and then some flow gauges. This actually does not matter. As long as you have a flow, and you use the rule of one, which is one radiator per component, then you're good. I am here to help you on your PC building quest. Like and follow for part two.